So we'll all introduce ourselves. I'm Cheyenne. This is my husband, Zach. This is Ryder's dad, Corey. Corey how's it going? <laughs> like, <laughs> I love that you're all here because when all parents are joining these calls, I always see the programs go so much better because everyone's on the same page. So we can get things started by first hearing from you guys what your greatest pain points are as far as writer's sleep is concerned and also what your goals are. For me, a writer's always struggled with sleeping throughout the night. She has a condition called VLCAD and as a baby we had to wake her up every two hours to eat. She still wakes up at least four times a night, on a good night. It messes with our sleep, we rotate. If she gets in our bed, I end up in her bed, yeah. so. It's like a rotating like bed shuffling in our house. What is it in your house? I mean, it's pretty much the same thing at our house. It's a hot mess. It sounds to me that she is overtired which is like the number one trigger for night issues for all children. So the number one tip that I give anyone who's dealing with any sort of sleep issues at night is to make bedtime a little bit earlier. So the more you guys can channel that energy for her, the faster you'll see the behavior change because, and I always say this after two years old, so many sleep issues start becoming more behavioral and we can really help to change behaviors if we are nailing timing. So getting her down prior to the point of her getting overtired, because if she gets overtired, then what chemically happens in her brain is cortisol is secreted, which is what causes her to stay fluttering in that lighter stage of sleep. I would suggest you both get one of those hatch lights because what the hatch light can do is just be a very clear visual for her about when it's time to be quiet and in her bed and when it's okay to be up and leaving her room and everyone's waking up and we're starting the day. The visual cue for a child is huge. How does she do with reward systems? She does great with reward systems. I would like the reward to be immediate each morning. And then we will talk about a communication plan because we want this to feel good and exciting for Ryder, right? Make it feel like she's part of it and sleep is awesome and she's awesome and she's gonna do a great job and you're her greatest cheerleader, which is so, so, so important. We don't wanna be like, listen, Ryder, we're all <laughs> exhausted. We are not functioning right now and you need to get it together otherwise. Like that's not, we want her to feel like, oh, whoa, okay, yeah, I can do this and I'm gonna be awesome and so cool for making big sleeps all by myself. I just think, I really feel like we should make it a fun meeting. That's all I'm saying. You are going to, and that's gonna be like the huge thing for her. Give me the kisses. Yay, puppy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!